the MiG-23 was developed to address the need for a fighter with better speed, range, and versatility than its predecessor, the MiG-21. As threats from Western aircraft like the F-4 Phantom II increased, the Soviet Union needed a fighter that could not only match but surpass Western technology in terms of intercepting bombers and dogfighting. The design of the MiG-23 began in the early 1960s, with the goal of creating an aircraft that could operate effectively at both low and high altitudes. To achieve this, the MiG-23 was designed with a variable sweep wing, which allowed it to perform well at various speeds and altitudes. The engine was upgraded to provide greater thrust, making it faster and more powerful. The MiG-23 had a maximum takeoff weight of around 17,800 kilograms, a length of 16.7 meters, and a wingspan of 14.1 meters with wings fully extended. It could reach speeds of up to Mach 2.35 and had a range of about 1,150 kilometers without external fuel tanks. Armed with a 23mm GSH-23L cannon and various air-to-air -air missiles, it was a capable combat aircraft. The MiG-23's variable sweep wing design gave it an advantage in versatility, allowing it to perform well in dogfights and high-speed interceptions. Its powerful engine provided excellent speed and climb rates, making it a formidable opponent in the skies. One unique feature of the MiG-23 was its look-down slash shoot-down radar capability, which was relatively advanced for its time. This allowed the aircraft to detect and engage low-flying targets, making it a valuable asset in both air superiority and ground attack roles. The MiG-23 saw extensive combat use in various conflicts, including the Middle East and Africa. It was flown by many Soviet-aligned countries and proved to be an effective fighter in the hands of skilled pilots. However, it also faced challenges against more modern Western aircraft. While the MiG-23 had impressive speed and versatility, it was often criticized for being difficult to handle, especially at low speeds. The aircraft's complex systems also required more maintenance than earlier models, which could be a drawback in extended combat operations. To address these issues, Later variants of the MiG-23 received upgrades to avionics and flight control systems, making the aircraft more reliable and easier to fly. However, by the time these improvements were made, newer and more advanced fighters were already entering service. The MiG-23 Flogger was a significant step forward in Soviet fighter design, combining speed, firepower, and versatility. While it had its shortcomings, it served its purpose during a critical period in Cold War aviation history. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more videos on military aviation.